Away from security matters, the Delta state government has promised to prosecute anyone found culpable in Tuesday's collapse of a church building in Okpanam near the state capital. Four persons, mostly children, died, and the state uh, has set up a panel of inquiry into the incident. Ikinamichi reports. The coming down of this one-story building during a church service by Salvation Ministries of Panam did not just trap worshippers, which includes children. Four people were confirmed dead Wednesday morning. The deputy governor, who is here to see things for himself, is saddened by the incident which many say could have been avoided. Specialist hospital in the state capital, Asaba, admitted 35 victims. The reason the deputy governor is here to see those receiving treatment. The, the patients are responding well and we hope that uh, many of them in no distant time will be discharged. And uh, as to the bills, we are a responsible government. We are going to um, be an integral part of all that happens. So far we have unfortunately uh, had four losses. It could have been worse and uh, we thank God for the prompt response of the ministry departments and agencies. A panel of inquiry has been put in place already and uh, in no distant time we'll be hearing the, the reports of that, of that panel and uh, whoever that is culpable of course will have the relevant laws that will, uh, will, will take its course. Among survivors are the family of Mrs. Ella Akos who narrated how she and her two boys pulled through. It was a sloppy way and it fell towards the direction the children were sitting down. So I rescued myself. So most of us tried to res find our way out. So we came out and we were trying to rescue others. So and people were rescuing children, rescuing everybody. Peace Igo Sewe is the chief medical director of the hospital. It's one or two have um uh, very serious, uh, very serious condition. The others are very, very stable. Some have actually been discharged. We've discharged about seven children and three adults. The general overseer of the Salvation Ministries, David Ibiomie, also visited the recuperating members of his church as some pastors who accompanied him visited the site of the collapse and shared their side of the story. The property does not belong to Salvation Ministry. Salvation Ministry is just one of the tenants in the properties. And we understand that it is the current landlord who was carrying on renovation without our consent that led to the collapse of this building. From observation, this remaining part of the building is waiting to go the way of these rubbles. As the families, the church and the state mourn the loss of these four victims of the collapsed building, the government has promised that no stone will be left unturned to bring to book everyone that is culpable in this incident. Ikenna Amechi, CBC News, Okpanam, Delta.